Hi everybody, welcome to Revitalize Reconnect Meet, where I get the opportunity to meet a business owner, a business entrepreneur, and a key influencer from across the UK business community. And today I've got the great pleasure and privilege, may I say, of being with a gentleman that I've known for over three years now, from when he started his business. This gentleman has had previous roles and responsibilities from music in the early days, with a university degree, retail, learning development, training stroke manager for 14 years in the corporate field, call centers, and sales, and did a short period in service in that field of industry, of that training and management. He's now only, just only, been running his own business now for three and a half years. Can you please welcome with me a great connection, the one and yes, the only Mr. Jay Cram of Ridgestone Physical. Jay, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you, Lee, and thanks for a great introduction. Oh, you're more than welcome. One does try to one deliver, as always. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jay, I would like um, for you to let everybody know who, well, let everybody hear who is listening and also watching us today a little bit about your business and a little overview, a synopsis of what you do. Absolutely, pleasure. Um, so yeah, I'm Jay, Jay Cram. My business is Ridgestone Physical and um, we are a sport and remedial therapy company. Um, we, we work primarily with outdoor and extreme sports people, um, but we, we really, we have a policy that our door is open to anyone um, in pain, discomfort, or who has training needs um, or working towards a personal goal. We can help everybody achieve all of those. Um, so, yeah, it's a great clinic. Um, there's plenty of space for people to move around in and for us to do proper top-to-toe examinations. Um, we also do a lot of discussion around um, internal health how gut health is, how cardiovascular health is, and that's where Synergy Worldwide comes in um, with some fantastic nutritional products that focus on all of those. So the company really as a whole is, is looking after people's health inside and out um, and making sure that everybody has the, the best possible chance of a great life. Superb, and I mean there's been a lot going on for you lately, and we'll come out of that in a few minutes anyway over the last few weeks. Um, but one of the biggest things I want to look at the first off, for everybody who's listening and watching, is about achievements and success in business. And I would like us really to, to look at the part of when you came out of retail and came into the therapist role, but also looking at that sort of how you've made it your own and how you've created that over the last three and a half years. And now that's an achievement on its own. Really, would you mind sharing a bit more detail on that for us, Jay? Yeah, absolutely. So I, um, yeah, as you say, three and a half years in business, it's been, five years since I started this journey into therapy. Um, I sort of decided at the start of 2015 that, you know, I was going to do something for myself and found a, a therapy course, um, which was great, one weekend a month, and um, all the sort of study and research and practice in between those classes. Um, as it happened, my Swedish course, the basic course, was nine months long, and then it so happened that we were going straight onto the remedial course. So it was an 18 month block of study. And it was all going swimmingly well until about five months in. Um, so effectively, the timeline being January, I started the course. May, my divorce started, and it was a little bit messy. Um, between the stress of that and a lot of things going on at my work at the time, I was signed off my work with stress at the start of July in 2015, which was then later diagnosed as a brain tumour in the August. Whisk into hospital, operated on, and then back out, some parental care for a few months. Towards the end of the year, I had a six-week course of radiotherapy. In the January of 2016, um, I was back into hospital for a hernia operation, which was absolutely fine. Um, and then in the June, I'd been studying through all of that. In the June of 2016, I qualified with both my, my diplomas. It just so happened that I'd been called back to my work a week early. So the weekend that I graduated um, with my diplomas, I was straight back to my work and called into a big meeting and put into consultation. And as that story goes, as I'm sure many people know, um, three months later, I lost my job. And all of a sudden, I was sat at my laptop on a Saturday morning going, 
what do I do now? And the, the idea had always been that um, when I started, my thoughts in 2015 were that I would be doing this as a, as a kind of side hustle as something that I would do evenings and weekends alongside my day job. Um, and then I was all of a sudden hurled forward. The universe had different ideas and I was planted onto this um, career path very firmly. And yeah, it all has moved very rapidly since. Super. And it's funny the way you say though, it's many people in that position, and I think we agree in this current climate as well, Jay, is that you're working part-time on a business, but full time in a role. And you mm. don't know what's going to happen around the corner as you have found out many things, but you've also been working part time on that sort of knowledge base and information ready to launch of what you need to get done and, and keep moving forward. So congratulations on keeping the drive going and keeping the determination happening. Um, really hats off to yourself on that, absolutely superb. I would like us also now just to digress and look at a bit of did you know and I, I like when you shared with me previous coming out of the camera and, and, and doing the recording was a bit about did you know it was the three unique selling points now the first did you know that you shared with us was about physical health would you like to share a bit more about that about that unique selling point for you that number one yes yeah, so physical health is a, a massive thing um you know if you look around your yourself your family and friends just people in the street you'll often see someone hobbling down the street or a bit of a cough or a sneeze or someone who's always rubbing the shoulder. Physical pain, no matter how small, can niggle away and it can keep going and physically, over time, it can develop into something much worse, um, sometimes debilitating, sometimes, you know, <laughs> even bigger things. Um, but also, it's, it affects your mental health. If there's something that's always niggling away at you, there's just there's, your attention's diverted and it just over time can develop into things like depression. We see anxiety coming through because of it. And really it's, it's something that, you know, I've gone through a number of those things over the years and everything I've been through. Um, and really the, what I try to do is, is help people deal with it. When they come to the clinic, they will get a full top to toe assessment inside and out, although we don't physically go inside and have a look. Um, and what we try and do is look at the, the root cause of the, the issue. I deal with a lot of people who, for example, come in with a lot of shoulder problems, as I say. Um, when we do a full assessment, I can work out and see exactly where things are happening in the body. And it could be because there's an imbalance in the hip. It could be something wrong with the opposite foot to the shoulder that's in pain. And what we try to do is we will certainly work on the presenting issue, but we also try and fix the, the main um, problem as we found it. The, the, the client I had sort of towards the end of last year um, was exactly in that position. And we worked on the root cause before we got to the shoulder. And actually, we didn't need to get to the shoulder because it resolved itself with the work we were doing on the root cause. So... After that, the client was happy as Larry, you know, um, just pain had gone, everything felt good from top to toe, and, you know, that's, that's, that's my little bit of job satisfaction. You see folk hobble into the clinic and dance out on their tiptoes. Um, maybe not in a one-shot one shot wonder, but that's certainly the overall feel of it. Definitely. I remember the time when you did, I mean, I've said this like a broken record in fairness, but <laughs> the time when I was going for the Great Scottish Run and you did that full body assessment and check out the alignment and everything. And it's quite um, an eye opener where you hear, really, have you got pain in your right knee? Yeah. No, you will have soon because it's looking like it's going to happen. And eventually I did get pain in my right knee, everybody. So um, mm -hmm. Jay can actually assess it before it's actually starting to happen. <laughs> on that. But then I also had a really bad calf strain, um, but it actually mended it. My stride was a lot better on my jogging and my running was a lot easier. And it actually gave me a better time at being at an older age, I should say. At an older age, I did a better time. So hats off to yourself again, once, once again on that one. The other one we're looking at is point number two. And one of the things you said in that, it's better to live without pain. Do you like to tell us a bit more about that unique selling point, please, Jay? So again, yeah, just the, the mental health aspect of it is a big part of it, but we enjoy what we do 
and, and we do it because we can. And it's only when you injure yourself that you stop doing something. Part of my job is prevention. And I've got a subscription service with a lot of clients on it at the moment. And they come and see me twice a month, sometimes more, sometimes just once a month. Um, but it's about that regular maintenance. I often sort of refer to cars. <laughs> you know, we spend a lot of money on cars. We top them up with fuel, which is great food and nutrition. Um, but, you know, we spend a fortune servicing them. We look after them. Um, and we don't do that to ourselves, um, you know. So if you keep doing something consistently, take running, for example, thankfully, um, you are going to end up injuring yourself if you don't warm up, if you don't cool down, if you've had an injury that you know about years and years ago from anything, an old job, from playing with football with your mates. Um, and if you don't get that fixed, then it will get worse again. So, you know, I, I talk to all my clients about don't wait until this happens again. You know, come and see me on a regular basis, once or twice a month is usually enough. And we'll keep things in the right place, doing the right thing and making sure that you don't become susceptible to injury again. And that way, you know when you're coming to see me, you can carry on, you can do what you like, pain-free and enjoy your life. I agree with that. It's, it's, it's all these little elements that you have previous that you don't think they're going to kick in, but unfortunately they do. Um, so thanks for sharing that. The third, did you know, this, the, the, the unique selling point was, you know, the kilted therapist. Now I've seen how many people watching and listening to us today on the podcast is the kilted therapist. Where did that come from and why did you put it in place for when you, it was probably a couple of years back, wasn't it really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was, to be honest, it was probably a kind of an off-the-cuff thing, um, although I, there was thought behind it. Um, I had got some feedback two or three years ago now. Um, my, my initial branding, I had designed myself. I had got a loose message around it, um, and I'd chosen a uniform which, as someone pointed out, ended up looking like a school uniform. So, uh, yeah, there was, there was change much needed at that point. Um, I got in touch and, and spoke to a graphic designer who did a lot of brand development um, and spoke to him. We had lots of meetings, a lot of in-depth meetings about my why, my how, my what, um, and ultimately my, my new logo was, was brought up, um, which I loved, and you know, instantly thought, right, it's going to be a black uniform. Um, but then I'd sort of started thinking, right, we're, we're focusing on outdoor and extreme sports. And in my personal and probably somewhat biased opinion, there's no place better to do that in the world than in Scotland. You can do everything within a hundred mile reach around Scotland, just about. Um, whether it's, you know, scuba diving, surfing, whether it's parachuting, skydiving, rock climbing, mountain biking, whatever else goes on out there. Um, you can do it all in Scotland and have a great time. And, you know, I'd been talking to someone about the tourist industry and, you know, spoken to another few folk at a network event about standing out in the crowd. And it all just clicked and I thought, you know what? The kilt's the way to go. So it's just a, it's a, a working kilt. There's no specific tartan. Um, it's black. It matches the uniform and it works perfectly. Um, Unfortunately, maybe not at the moment, just uh, being a little bit careful. So the combat trousers are on, but the, the kill will be back soon. So watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely super. And I think it does. It's a, there's many people forget about it out there, especially in the, the realms of networking. It's your first impression should be your lasting impression with somebody. And you always made that impact when you had that face-to-face -face interaction. You know, the good old days, as you used to call it. Now it's a new normal uh, where we are at the moment. But again great about that brand recognition and people remembering for a certain reason and there's a bit of fun with that at the same time so it, it it made people remember thank you for that here's a question for you if you could cast your mind back to three and a half years ago and ask everybody this way i interview right cast your mind back three and a half years ago you're just on the the, the premise of starting your own business what golden tip of advice would you give yourself if you could speak to yourself three and a half years ago that if there's a budding entrepreneur listening to us today is going, I'm in a position where I'm ready to work for myself now. 
What would you say to them? And what would you say to yourself? What advice would you give yourself? So I, I had to think about this one. And um, yeah, there's, there's probably a couple of bits of advice. Um, all back to the training days of uh, six bums and a rugby pool, you know, the <laughs> who got where, why, when and how. Um, and, and I think the most important thing is, as I've now learned, and, and Simon Sinek's a, a well-known name um, amongst many business owners, but start with why. Why are you doing this? What's your reason for getting up out of bed in the morning and doing what you do? Um, and, you know, ultimately, yes, I've got materialistic reasons for doing it, but ultimately my why, and considering everything I've been through, I don't like seeing people in pain. I, I automatically want to reach out and help people. Um, and that, that was sort of my why. So that, that's a really big reason, you know, why are you doing this? Why do you want to do this um, and move forward with it? I think it's important and, and, you know, coming from my previous life, as I call it, um, almost whatever business you're going into, you do need to remember that to whatever degree you're moving into a sales position, mm -hmm. you are selling yourself, you are talking to people, you're selling your business, um, you're, you're promoting the benefits of it to people. So it's really important that your communications are on point. Your, your skills are on point, that you are happy presenting to people, whether it's your elevator pitch, your network pitch, your chatting to people in a coffee house or whatever it is, um, you need to be able to um, communicate well. Um, plan your launch, I'm just reading my notes here, plan for your launch and focus on your brand and your brand message. So what is, your, what is it you're selling and how are you selling it? So the look of it all. Um, who are you selling to? So your client avatars, who are the people you want to get to? What is it you're selling? Your propositions, how are they going to move, change, alter, that sort of thing? Um, and your location, you know, where are you going to do it and how are you going to facilitate it all? And ultimately, I think the best tip, planning, yes, but just go for it, you know, get out there and do it. You can plan to the nth degree, but if you don't get off your rear end and get out there and do something, it's never going to happen. So, yeah, both feet first. <laughs> I think you're right. It's many people overthink it. And yeah. they overthink it so long that they don't put it into place. Mm -hmm. And the part you've touched on there as well, briefly, is audience. Is actually knowing what their audience is. Many people say, I want to speak to everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, work on specific audiences that you're delivering to. And it's true, get up in the morning, get yourself ready, and just literally go for it. Get yourself into gear, and off you go. So thank you for sharing that, Jay. Thank you very much. With everything that's gone on, the, on over the last 12 to 13 weeks, not mentioning many, many other things, we've all had to diversify our business journeys as entrepreneurs. How have you diversified your business in the last 12 to 13 weeks? What changes and how have you adapted to overcome? So, yeah, it's actually 20 weeks for me, but we'll not do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, Bridgestone has had a lot of change in, in the past few months. Um, first and foremost is the, the move to online services now. Um, I, I spent the first four or five weeks pacing a, a tread route in my carpet um, in the house, just wondering, right, what am I going to do? How am I get going to get online? How am I going to work with my clients? And then one of my colleagues at the, the massage school I work with um, said to me, oh, have you seen this bit of software? Had a look at it. It was all the answers in one nice tidy package. Tick the subscribe button and off we go. So that was great. Um, and it means that I can now have a chat like this on, on Zoom or any other platform with my clients, do a, a more objective sort of, um, sub, sorry, subjective um, the, the, the consultations the word I'm looking for, um, and, you know, get them to move around, watch them to, to a certain degree. Obviously, it's not the same as being face-to-face -face in the clinic, but it gives me enough information to um, use the background sort of part of the package, which is all exercises, techniques, um, things they can do to, to look after themselves. So I essentially pull the relevant ones into a package, I can edit them and tailor them to each individual client and then send it off to them. And it's a, 
a, a great sort of way that people can keep working on themselves. Um, and, you know, they've got me at the end of the phone. I generally do an appointment, a free sort of interim catch up, another appointment and so on and so forth. Um, it's working well. But now I'm, I'm growing even more, um, the business is growing even more, and the, the newest part of it is Synergy um, that's come into the business. Synergy is a fantastic range of nutritional product, products from a company that focuses in on the science, that really spends all the money looking at the, the ins and outs of how they can make things better, how it can work well, how they can improve people's health from the inside. and. I've been looking for some sort of nutritional um, aspect to the business as part of our growth. And none of the other ones out there really sort of spoke to me, didn't sort of line up with the values that either I or the business have um, until I was introduced to Synergy by another revitalizer, Stephen Innes. Um, so I've, I've been using the products myself for a good sort of two or three months now, um, feeling a massive difference in, in what it's done for, for myself. Um, you know, I'm, I'm on a lot of medication, as won't come as any surprise, um, but I was very lethargic. I was terrible in the mornings getting up. I was timetabling afternoon naps, and, you know, I could see every hour on the clock during sleep time. Um, so having been on the products, I can now safely say I am much more full of beans. Um, I get up bright and breezy in the morning. I can work my day right through without any afternoon naps. And I go to my bed at night and sleep until my alarm clock wakes me up the next day. So it's it's a fantastic product, I can say firsthand. Um, and it's just, it, what it's doing, Synergy is giving me an opportunity to really give my clients the best chance to improve their health, improve their performance if they're athletic, um, and really, that make a difference to their own health for the future as well. So, yeah, lots of fantastic things. Um, fingers crossed there might be some more on the way, but uh, that's all under wraps at the moment. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how see how it goes in the future. Absolutely superb. And I think it works in unison with your business quite nicely with Synergy, I think, and especially the way you're helping with people with the inside and the out. Mm -hmm. So you're working on both areas for individuals. Great to have that, and especially putting in a different, a different plane of where they are at the moment, making them feel a lot better in themselves. With everything you've mentioned today with the diversification of your business, so congratulations on that, going to advice, talk about did you know, with everything else, what's, uh, what's next? What's the next step for, for yourself, Jay? Where do you go to next? Is it in the next six months, 12 months, five years, 10 years? What's next for you and Rich Stone Physical? So um, for me, Personally, the next thing on the, the list, um, I'm actually looking for one more person. I've got two already lined up, and um, just a little team of us to go through the Purify Kit um, with Synergy. Now, the Purify Kit is all about resetting your gut health, resetting your body's microbiome, and giving your digestive system a chance um, to, to reset itself. Digestive system can deal, um, you know, problems can have an impact all across the body with inflammation conditions and even more serious conditions coming through in the long term. So um, I'm looking for one more person to join us um, and work through that sort of 90 day challenge. Um, for the business, um, really exciting. I, I have big goals um, for the business. Um, who knows how long we'll take. I'm looking roughly at about sort of 10, 15 years. But right now, Given the current situation, I'm probably about six months back on where I was um, before it all started. I am looking in the next sort of six to eight months, potentially looking for another therapist. I have four clinics, including this one, um, that I work from, which is great. There's potentially a fifth coming on board, and there's only one of me. So, um, yeah, I need, to, I need to get some more bodies in the, the mix. Right now, I... I really need to, well, I think the Kickstart um, program that the government launched is probably a good way to go. Need a bit of help just understanding that. But I really need to find someone who is a bit of a, an all-star um, that can do my digital marketing, my Facebook, my social media, my website, um, but also they're a bit of a PA, they can do data entry, they can do 
bits and pieces that I need um, around the clinic as well. So once I've got that in order, it'll free up a bit more of my time to really sort of hone the fuzzy lines and, and get a really clear view of how things are going to move forward. Um, but yes, I, I have the end goal in mind. Um, so that's where I'm going. <laughs> Super. It sounds exciting stuff and I wish you all the very best for your endeavours going forward. And there's many people and part of the club that will be able to help you and support you and taking you forward to those dreams and, and assistance in getting those people that you need to work yeah. in the right places that you're looking at as well, especially. We can see behind you and for people who are listening, uh, how can people get in touch with you? How can they make contact with Mr. J. Cram? What's the best route of connection? Yeah, so I think, I mean, as I say, the best thing is all about communication, having a chat with someone. Um, so my phone number, give me a call. I'm, quite happy unless I'm with a client to have a chat with someone. Um, that number is 07840 Um and yeah as I say I'll quite happily chat or leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> Absolutely super. Well I want to say a big big thank you Jay for your time today. It's great to welcome you to the Reconnect Meets podcast and YouTube series. Thanks again. Thank you. Um, I wish you all the very best for your endeavours going forward with Richstone Physical and with Synergy, most importantly. Yeah. Um, and really, thank you to everybody who's been listening and watching us today. If you want to find out more about Revitalize, Reconnect Meets, the podcast and the YouTube, subscribe to the channels. You'll find the links in the post. But we wish you all the very best. Keep healthy, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you back at Revitalize, Reconnect Meets very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now. Bye now.